Hi guys, my name is Kyle August and I'm here to help you manifest in the quickest and easiest way possible. Today I want to go over a technique that is going to help with you aligning all of your thoughts with the wish fulfilled. Because obviously the wish fulfilled state is one of the most, if not the most important thing when it comes to manifestation. We obviously 100% want to feel as if we already have what we desire. And I'm also going to go over an idea I believe Joseph Murphy talks about before, and that is to never finish a negative thought. So whenever you find yourself in, in essence, thinking upon, worrying about something that is not supporting your belief, I want you to just stop it right in its tracks and just don't finish it. Okay, can you do this? I know it's going to sound way easier. Uh, in It's going to sound way easier than it actually is. But let's just make the affirmation that thinking positive is easy and effortless for us. Uh, but the technique I want to talk about is actually called the double standard method. Now, it kind of sounds, well, when you think of relationships, the double standard makes sense, right? Hopefully everyone understands what a double standard is. So a double standard is that when you act in a certain way, someone else should act in that same way back. So if you act in a positive way in a situation, that same thing should come back. But I'll explain this a little bit more. And it's something I'm telling everyone in all of my coaching sessions because it is so important and I think it is so powerful with aligning your thoughts. So I want you to take a moment and look at those inner thoughts that you are having on a day-to-day -day basis, right? How is your inner voice talking to yourself? How are you talking to you? Are you very supportive of your goal and your desire? Or are you very self-critical? Are you talking down, saying things like, you're, you're just a jerk, you can't do this, you are never going to succeed? Those are just the examples. I'm sure you don't call yourself a jerk. Hopefully you don't because you're not a jerk. There's no such thing as jerks at all, ever. But I want you to think about how you talk to yourself. And then this is where the method actually comes into play. So I want you to think. Think of those thoughts. And then I'll have a challenge for you guys throughout the week. Think about if you had a friend that was very similar to you and was in a very similar situation, would you tell them these same things? Think of your inner voice. Think of how you speak to yourself. And would you talk the same way to a friend, again, that's very similar in a similar situation? You may even run into this um, talking to friends who are manifesting, right? Bouncing ideas off of them. When they're going through a tough spot, how do you react to them? Do you tell them, oh, they're just a jerk. You're never gonna solve that. You're never gonna manifest your SP. You should just stop now. You're never gonna succeed. I would imagine that you don't, but that's why it's called the double standard method. Why would you then talk that way? Or why would you talk so nicely and abundant and positive to your friend, but not to yourself. You are with you all the time. You should definitely treat yourself in the same way you would treat a best friend. But we find ourselves doing this. And why is this, right? Someone might say, well, I hold myself to a higher standard than I do anyone else, right? That could be something that we might say. But then I would say, if you're holding yourself up to a standard, wouldn't you also want your very close friend who's very similar to you and in the, a similar situation to be just as successful? Why would you wish for that success for yourself rather than your friend? So if that's what we're thinking, and we're thinking that we only talk to ourselves because we hold ourselves to a high standard, but then we're mentioning that we also want our friend to be succeeding um, just as much as us, why wouldn't you then speak to them in that same exact way, right? You would then speak to them and say, you're never going to succeed. You're not going to do it, right? Would we not do that? But we know that there is then some thought or 
inner dialogue that kind of stresses or worries more about our own situation in comparison to someone else's. Um, so remember though, and I want to kind of talk a little bit more on that. How do you view, let's say you have a friend that is manifesting a specific person. How do you view their situation? I would say most people would state that if you're talking to a friend and they're worried about their manifestation, saying how it's going all wrong, what is our usual thought? We're thinking there's absolutely nothing going wrong with your manifestation. You are doing absolutely fantastic. I don't know what you're worried about, right? We say that a lot of times when it comes to other people's manifestations. But then when it comes to our own, what do we do? We say the exact opposite. But an idea that's going to help along with this double standard method is to think about how other people are viewing your manifestation. Go talk to your friend and see how they view your manifestation. If they're going to state, yeah, I don't know what you're worried about. Everything's going perfectly. You are a very confident, abundant, positive person and you should not worry at all. There's no problem with your manifestation. Um, but I would say it's that inner talk that begins to second guess or doubt ourselves. But that is the double standard method that I want you guys to begin utilizing. But here is going to be the challenge that I want you guys to do. So throughout the week, I want you to specifically focus and look at or pay attention to all of your inner thoughts. So you are going to just see how or review exactly, sorry, there's this truck going behind me that's kind of distracting, um, but review those inner thoughts and see, see what they sound like. Is this a person that if you were roommates with that you'd kick out immediately? But I don't want you to be harsh on yourself during this process. I just want you for the next week, and again, don't attempt to massively change anything because first we need to view and come at everything with a very calm and peaceful attitude. For the next week, and this is actually something that I am been or have been including in my coaching sessions, I want you to write down times in which your inner talk was not so good. So times in which you we're talking to yourself in a way that you would not talk to a close friend, okay? I just want you to notice that. But then also, I want you to write down times in which you did speak to yourself in a way that was very supportive and aligns with how you would speak to that close friend, okay? We're just viewing and kind of looking at our thoughts in this way. At the end of the day, remember, you are not your thoughts. You are what is aware of your thoughts, you're that awareness, that being, that consciousness. So throughout this week, do that. And then at the end of the week, I want you to see how much you are actually in support or your inner thoughts are in support of what you desire rather than against it. And you're going to see either most of your thoughts do not support your outcome or most of your thoughts do. But then looking back and having that review of those thoughts, you're going to be able to tell, have, am I very confident or positive talking with myself or am I not, right? But then we are then able to change or alter it. If you have been feeling very down or very feeling like you can't do your manifestation, but then you find that the whole week you have been talking yourself down, being negative being non-abundant, then it's like, of course, we're going to be feeling that way. And then in that case, it is very easy to alter that around. Pay attention to those thoughts and ask yourself, would I state this to someone who I'm very close with in a very similar situation and ask yourself that. But then again, when you get to that point and you find it's something that is not supportive, I want you to, to just not finish. Don't ever finish a negative thought. If you start having one, just say, stop yourself in the right there. Stop yourself in the tracks. You can also, I might have included this as an example before, but you can actually view it in the same way that you would a train and you can view anxiety in this way as well. When a train 
starts going, it's going very slow. It's very easy to stop, right? So if we can stop it before it starts going too fast, it's gonna be super easy. And this is just an idea that works, again, with all of your anxiety. But then also, when it starts to get going too fast, right? A train that's at full speed takes a couple miles to stop. So the goal is that we wanna stop ourselves before we get to that point. Stop the train of anxiety or worry or negativity when it's going slow and when it is very easy to do. And you're gonna find that you never end up going full speed and everything aligns perfectly and your inner thoughts begin to change and support exactly what you desire. So if you had any questions on this concept or on this video, I'll leave it down below. Also, you can reach out to me at kyleaugustcoaching.com if you guys wanted one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I know you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Make sure to check out my TikTok, which is Manifestation Man. Uh, but with that, again, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, but I'll see you guys next time.